Hello and welcome back to our Imperator Rome campaign as Lugia. We have a new tribal retinue led by Sigigiz, Sigigiz, whatever, Ingo Hedres. So uh, you are someone interesting, I'm sure, but I don't know. Um, we are still the Malogras clan, so we just got to make sure that we don't give or our heir is not going to be one of these tribal chiefs, so then uh, we lose all of our army, which would be pretty rough. Uh, I don't think I would enjoy that. We also need a little bit more tech. Uh, we've still got the same plan as before, um, turning Viadrus into a city and uh, really kind of boosting it uh, by taking all of these pops and probably these pops as well, uh, migrating them all and putting them all in Viadrus. So we have a tribal champion, uh, Inguomer Malogrus. Hey, are you my brother or something? Uh, you're the clan chief of the Malogri clan. We are members of that Malogri clan, which is um, it's interesting that we're the tribal chief, but whatever, it's fine. Um, are we like brothers or something? We're, we're, we should be. We're, I mean, we're, we're the same name. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I've got nothing here. Oh, well. Uh, he's an impressive clan chief known for his battle prowess and strength. After an extraordinary feat of defending his clan from a pack of wolves, the people around in Guiomer uh, has demanded to give him the honor of Champion of the Lugia. Surely the clan chief deserves the honor, but he's already a well-known figure, and it would give him more leverage politically. So if we say, it's fine, we just lose a little bit of political influence, he'll gain a bit of loyalty... We could say no, and you'd lose loyalty and some prominence. I, it's fine. It's whatever, really. He's already got a hundred prominence. His loyalty's already pretty high. His prominence is, yeah, it'll go up faster, even though it's already at max. Yeah, it's whatever. Not, not a really big deal either way. Stability's looking quite good as well. So how about we pass another tribal law? So we could go with hospitality traditions. We could take either pop assimilation speed or primary culture happiness. Um, this does make my centralization tank a bit faster. Um, but honestly, that pop assimilation speed plus 30% is so unbelievably strong. I just can't say no. I, I cannot say no to this. It's 30%, my dude. So it's like so good. So, so good. Uh, you want furs from Alicia? That's fine. We'll we'll give you those furs. Also, I know people really like me to use the terrain map mode. This is one of the reasons why I don't. I, I don't want to see all this snow. And I know I've gone over this in plenty of videos already, but I will say it again. For the people in the back who maybe not have heard it before. The reason I like transparent political map mode in... EU4 is because in the political map mode you can't see things like trees, you can't see things like hills and, and mountains and all that kind of good stuff, whereas with Imperator you can. I want to be very clear on what area I'm looking at and having it like this where if I zoom in too much it's like it's it's really what what color here makes me think, oh, this is Lugian territory. It's not. It's, it's all green. You have to scroll out until very far away before you get to know that it's it's actually in, in the, you know, the purpley color of Lugia. So, that's why I don't use it. I'm probably not going to use it. Um, sorry, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I've got nothing more to say about that. That's That's kind of it. Alright, so we have a foreign flight, uh, apologies for the little cut there, I just uh, thought I needed to do my map modes again for the nth time. So, I could get a good amount of claims, well, four claims, Board Depot, Goliamoto, Kabilia, and Markelai. I don't know where any of those are. Um, let's see, Kabi, Kab Kabyle, where is Kabyle? That's... That's quite a ways away. Goliamoto's there. Okay, so it's it's like it's Adrissia. Basically, it wants me to go to war with like Thrace Adrissia. 
Uh, thanks for the popularity, though. That's that's quite nice. I will probably be down there at some point. Um, there is absolutely no need for me to go down there right yet. So, screw it. Why, why bother? Uh, you want my wood? I'm going to decline that. I don't want to give you wood, because I don't care about the export bonus, and I do care about the extra taxes it gives me. So... So we have a feud between two of our tribesmen. Come forward today to ask for a settle, selling ownership over a gold necklace they found. Uh, they believe it belongs to her. She was the one to find it. She wants, uh, He wants it because it was discovered on his land. Uh, you're a clan chief. You're a wife of the bodyguard. It clearly belongs to Walla Lake. That's, that's just the way it goes. I'm sorry. I actually don't agree. And I do think you should keep it because, I mean, it's, it's yours. But nah. But just nah. I don't really care about that ship recruit speed. It's pretty weak. Um, whereas having that extra thing gives me plus 3% local taxes. So we're going to keep that. That seems like a much, much better idea. We can call down another omen. I'm thinking of gain the slave output. But is there something better? I, I kind of like that more. Tribes and output plus 12.9% is bloody strong. So yeah, we're going to go with Tamfana. It's going to cost me 15 stability, but I do think that's probably better. And, oh, we can't use you for 36 months. All right, well, until then, I guess, I guess Tuisto is, is going to be fine. Eh. Troubling developments. Recently we've seen that our apothecary, as well as those under his charge, have been doing a disappointing job. Well, I would like to lose my corruption, so yeah, the corrupt traitor will not be given anything. You need a dick. Tamfana has no holy site. We can change that. We could say, oh, Viadris, this should be the place of a new holy site. However, it costs us 400 ducats, so it's probably not going to happen. Um... Not yet. That seems like uh, quite a hefty cost. Uh, Faith of Thurigeus. I'm going to take that stability. Thank you very much. I also would really much like to finish my missions. Controlling Rugia and making gains. I kind of want both of those. And you want me to conquer Lugia entirely. There's a bit more than I need to do there. I get five Vandal Freeman in Ligia. And converting Rugia, losing your expansion, I don't really care about that. Acquiring Churonaya, that would be 15 political influence. Annexing Skidia, that gives me popularity. And then a triumph. <laughs> I get citizen happiness. Yay! <laughs> That's gonna be so bloody useful. I do kind of want this as well. An Eastian citizen appears. That's interesting. Why would I have an Eastian citizen? That is very interesting. I think definitely the the goal will be to get uh, get Viadris to be my own capital city first before I just kind of expand massively. I don't think I need. Um, Elysia anymore. I think I can decolonize this and move my population elsewhere. At the moment, to decolonize only cost me four, um, four stability. But if we tank this all the way to negative 100%, um, then it's going to cost us quite a lot less. I think it goes down to negative 50%. It's, it's, you know, it's quite good. It also increases the size of our clan retinues, although at the moment, they're still only at one, so it's not going to, not going to change more than likely. Not yet, at least. Band of Harvest, I am going to take... Honestly, the money? I, I really need this to be a city. And it's 350 ducats we need to shave up, so... Yeah. It's uh, it's going to be a while. Um, become friends with another tribal chief? That sounds pretty damn good to me. You're actually going to drill, because it still doesn't cost anything extra. And I do want my military experience to go up. I should have been drilling the entire time, to be perfectly honest. Um, these guys can't drill, unfortunately, so... Wow, well. It'd be nice if they could determine, oh, we want to drill this army. Also, you're never going to be uh, 
out of food, what with this being vegetables. I kind of want to attack you for this singular territory. Although I do kind of want all of your nation as well. Uh, you're allied with Bastarnia, who fucked off down here now, and Galindia. There's Venedia here, who are allied with those two guys. If I was strong enough, I'd love to take them all on. We could do it and use the money that we get from the conquest, like we're sacking territories or sacking capital cities with Ghetto himself. That might give us a little bit of money towards our goal, but really not that much. I think we could still do it, though. I think we should still attack. Uh, Burgundia would help me. That's that's great. Semnonia won't fr be friends. Oh, but we can get Verinia as a friend. I'm definitely going to do that. You can just march through here. You don't really have much of an army, though. But hopefully they'll come and help. They will. Haha. -ha. Well, um... I guess there's nothing else to it. Let's let's uh, let's attack more warfare. We will have to stop and centralize a little bit for the technology, of course, uh, but that can come in time, right? So we've taken your city. We've got a fairly decent guy in charge. Oh my god, those cav just murdered face. Love it. Alright, slow down to speed 4 so I can watch you lose. You've got archers and light infantry. They're they're going to get messed up. You're not you're deciding not to attack me anymore. Probably wise. Mm, I don't think I'm going to lose this actually. Oh, maybe I am. No, I absolutely am. Fuck, too late. Too late. Too late to stop. Oh shit. That was not what I wanted to do. The heavy cab is, is is doing his thing. It's just it's just not enough. It's not enough. Oh no. And now that light infantry is gonna go there alone. And he's all dead. Which is actually not too bad, because I wanted to get rid of that light infantry anyway. And we got some untiring devotion, giving us some stability. I do enjoy that quite a bit. I don't want to give you wood, please go away. Alright, and now we have some heavy cavalry. Fantastic. This worked out perfectly. Alright, pump it up back to speed 5 while we uh, get this siege going. You're going for my siege, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm going to win this siege race, more than likely. Uh, you want to unit reorganize. You definitely want to unit reorganize, and so do you. I'm get you up to 3k heavy cavalry. It's actually going to be quite a heavy hitting force that we can do quite a lot of damage with. So, looking forward to doing the damage. Looks like that army's going to die. It was a good idea to ally with Verinia. They're doing, they're doing work for me. It's great. Also, they're totally going to win the siege race, aren't they? Garrow is now uncaring, which is loyalty gain chance, effective ruler, freeman output. I don't even know if I have any freeman whatsoever in my nation. Oh, I do. I have five. I take it all back. All right, let's select all these and turn this off. Oh, you're getting another cavalry. Oh, how lovely. It's about fucking time. Uh, death of a dude. My elder is dead. Long live the new elder, Tuomwald Malaricus, who is 35 years old, apparently eligible to be an elder. This guy, 19 years old, apparently eligible to be an elder. So we're going to choose uh, this chunky fella here. What I could do is go take over the siege here, get you to rush down and attack. Or just drop my uh, my supply train. But yeah, of course, of course that happened. Like there was no, there was no doubt in anyone's mind that that was going to happen. Fucking naturally, uh, there's three pops left. We could kill them all. 
We could kill all but one of them. Let's do that. The men shall roam freely, and we shall roam to here. It's really annoying that they took my fucking territory, the bastards. At least we're going to be able to take it back. Alright, you guys are actually going to go and uh, try and do some work down here. Hey, he, he's decolonizing me! No! Not allowed! Asshole! At least we took back our fucking place, though. Yeah, you, you want to go and attack these guys. I don't know why you're not. You need to come this way, too. Right, this is a plains province, so let's go and wreck the Bastarnian bastards. Too slow, motherfucker. Right, let's have a look at this battle. Um, it's looking fairly even. I think we're going to be fine here. I'm just chunking away through their troops. Don't even need my heavy cav to come in to win this one. It is a surefire win, naturally. Yeah, it's annoying that you decolonize me. Although, I mean, I don't really, really care that much. Alright, select you. You're going to go here. I think apparently we're going to catch one of these dudes as well. Or you are. I'm not. I would recommend against just charging in. At least uh, wait until I support you. Right, the retinues are actually, you know, they're shaping up. They're gonna be good. Uh, we've got four heavy cavalry and two light cavalry. That is, that's a, it's a fairly decent army, let's be fair. This guy is still a bit weak. Not very weak, but a little bit. Right, they are using skirmishing, which is weak towards deception. So we will choose our best general here. We'll change you to deception. I assume you are weaker. Yes, you are. And you are also weaker, so who cares what you choose? And I guess you're going to come up this direction. We're going to be hitting him in the plains as well. Oh no, he's running! He's running too fast. Do I want to attack him in the fort? Why are you slower? Why are you slower than these guys? Because you're still reorganizing? Is that... Ah, oh, yeah, that's tanking your speed. Okay. Well, no longer. Your speed is no longer tanked. Should I just take the negative one? I don't want to take the negative one. I'll take the negative one. I'm, I'm confident of victory here. So, only a tiny portion of my army joined in immediately. Uh, this light cavalry got immediately hit by a hailstorm of arrow fire. Uh, but we got the reinforcements in real quick, so we should easily mop up this, this pretender here. Absolutely destroyed him. Very nice. Deselect one. Deselect the other. They go there. Very nice. Alright, I want that fort again. I could do what I've done before and wait until um, to siege it until uh, where is it? After it's built, so I get there on like the 23rd of August. I might do that. That might be a good idea. We'll get there on the 27th of July, so we're going to wait a month. If I get there before it gets a garrison, we arrive on the 9th of August. Yeah, so we arrive. After the 22nd, but before the 30, uh, before the, you know, the next month, then the fortress will be finished. I won't have to pay for it. And, uh, there we go. Perfect. Free siege, free fort. Love it. Fantastic. Uh, when do you go there? So now we have a free siege. There's zero people there. I'm just going to immediately just take it. Thank you very much. I'm going to head on up. Here, kill this army. Interesting that it's a plains fort. Oh, are you retreating right into me? Because if so... Oh, yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Bastarnians. Absolutely beautiful. This is what you get for betraying me, by the way. Just, uh, just so you're aware. That's another 1,500 archers murdered. 
I kind of want to let you continue trying your siege because I know you're going to fail it. And just get these guys all murdered too. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. Oh, you're retreating a little bit further away. Okay. Oh, oh, are you actually kind of coming at me? Because uh, these guys are going to die to my cavalry. I can spend some cash in order to get some political influence and loyalty, or I could lose loyalty. Fine, take my fucking cash, you cheapskate fuck. Alright, let's get you all together. Are they trying to attack me? No, they're not. They're too weak and scared. It's funny how a hundred men is holding off three and a half thousand. Just, just phenomenal, really. Uh, this is this is total warship right there. So yeah, fantastic. Well, what we're gonna do is put a shortcut in here right before this battle happens. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, going to war again? It's nice. Feels good. And uh, soon enough, we'll have the money for a city in Viadras. Everything will go swimmingly well. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the rest of this campaign. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.